Okay, I appreciate everybody coming out this afternoon, uh, reference this tragic case, uh, hit skip fatal auto accident that occurred early morning hours of July 18th, approximately 3.30 a.m. Um, the deceased, Christopher Shaw, uh, was actually found deceased in the following day, July 19th, around 5.21 p.m. Um, present with me, I'd like to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Courtney. Uh, they were the parents of Christopher Shaw, who was 26 years old at the time of his death. Also, I'd like to introduce Lieutenant Macaluso. He heads up our criminal investigation section. And also Corporal Brad Derger. He's the traffic safety officer, along with two other officers that assisted with the actual reconstruction of the auto accident. Basically, I, I, we just want to reach out to the public right now. Uh, we have very few leads. Uh, we've had very few leads since the very beginning of this incident, this tragic incident. Uh, and we need the public. Uh, it's hard for me to believe that somebody out there other than the driver doesn't know information about this. I believe there's people out there that know information about this. And we urge the public to come forward to let us know uh, what they do know. They might think it's an insignificant tip. They might think there might not be much to it. But right now, we're just urging the driver, the witnesses, or any of the public that might have caught wind, heard anything relating to this tragic accident, we just ask you to contact the Delhi Police Department. You can call the police department at 922-0060, or there's a, a few means that you can do it anonymously. You can go to our Facebook page, like our Facebook page, and there's an icon on there that says submit a tip. Totally anonymous. You can also go to our website police page at www.delhi.oh.us. You can submit a tip from there, totally anonymous. I don't know who you are. Also, you can download an app that Delhi Township Police Department has. You can search either iTunes or Google Play, DTPD, all capital, and then TIP, all one word, DTPD, small TIP. You can search that app. It's a total, totally anonymous app also. You can actually take photographs from there. So if you have any photographs, if you heard that this individual or this car was involved and you're able to take a photograph of the car, you can actually text an anonymous tip of that photograph to us, and we greatly appreciate it. Anything that the public can do to help us out with this case, uh, we're urging you to come forward. Um, I'm sure it's not easy for the driver sitting at home living with this also, to come out, bring closure not only to the family but to themselves of this tragic accident. There's never a wrong time to do the right thing. And that's what I urge the public to do right now, to help our department, to help bring closure to the Courtney's and the loss of their son back on July 18th. There's never that wrong time to do the right thing. So with, like that, with that, I'd like to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Courtney. I'd like to share a picture of our son, Christopher Lawrence Shaw. He was kind, he was gentle-hearted, and was a good friend to many. We truly believe that, this, that Chris's death was a tragic accident that was unintentional. We believe that someone has to know something regarding the events that led to the death of our son. To bring closure to our family and to all those individuals we urge anyone to come forward and report what they know or suspect to the Delhi police. We know that the, if this individual is aware of what has happened, they are afraid, in pain, and waiting for a doc knock on the door. That may not come today, may come tomorrow. As the chief said, the truth will eventually come out. Uh, please remember it's never too late to do the right thing. We would like to take this opportunity to thank our family and friend for their continued thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Hello. Like the Chief said, I want to thank you guys for coming out today. Um, the courage it takes for Chris's parents to stand up and look at you guys and read that statement. That's the courage we need 
from the driver of this vehicle to come in and tell us their statement. It's, it's very painful for them to stand up here and plea to the person that did this to their son. We're asking that the person that did this to their son have the same amount of courage as them to come in and tell us what happened. Just some brief facts about the incident for someone at home that may or may not know someone involved. Like the chief said, we believe this accident occurred early on the hours of July 18th, sometime after 3 a.m. Earlier, a short time before that, Chris makes a phone call, at which point we know he's alive and well. We have located a person who saw Chris walking down the street called Huey Avenue, which is less than a block away from where this accident happened. That person saw Chris shortly after 3 a.m. Our time frame is, is somewhere after that 3 a.m. sighting of Chris walking home. We believe Chris was walking eastbound on Rapid Run. The area he's, where he was struck, it's dark. It's not well lit. Us as investigators acknowledge that the person that hit Chris may not know they hit Chris. They know they struck something. Potentially, this person drove by looking to see what they hit, couldn't find any, anyone or thing. Chris was wearing dark clothes. There's, like I said, there's no lights in the roadway. We don't know what exactly happened when that person hit Chris. We know that Chris was struck by a vehicle, and we need to find the driver of that vehicle. Like I said, we ask that you do this for Chris's family as much as for your own. We know the person sitting home knows that something happened, and they is, must, must be weighing on them to some level as well. So, like the chief said, please contact our police department through the numerous means. Come in, talk to us, and tell us what happened from your side of it. And if you have any questions or anything, we can try to answer them for you at this time. had very few tips and we have through myself and my investigative team along with Lieutenant Macaluso and the investigators we have looked deep and deep into them and we have nothing right now that is an active lead that we have not been able to close out for lack of a better word. So maybe, maybe I mean this could be something else or, or I know you've kind of ruled out other possibilities yeah. You know, as a police department and investigating this, we're open to anything. I can tell you in speaking with the coroner's office, um, it's, you know, the cause of death was a, was a result of an auto accident. And, again, we're not going to rule out anything. Someone wants to come in and tell us about that night or something that's important to this incident, we're going to listen to you. Um, from a scientific investigation portion of it, though, it's clear that Chris was struck by a vehicle and that the injuries from that accident is what ultimately caused his death. Is there any evidence at all um, uh, as far as you guess at a color of the car or anything like that left on its clothing or anything like that? Did, was there any of that kind of... We do not have that back yet. Um, there was nothing clear to us at the scene. Um, his clothing and everything has been submitted to the Hamilton County Coroner's Office for trace evidence and we don't have anything yet back from them. Thank you guys for coming out. We appreciate it.